Hello readers, welcome back. Before I jump into my most anticipated reads for the year, I just want to say that the Libri Labra Book Club will be reading The Hating Game by Sally Thorne this month. So if you guys haven't read it and you've been wanting to, now's a good time to do it so that you can join us in our live discussion towards the end of the month. If you've watched my reading goals video, then you know that my number one goal for this year was to read more and buy less. And I am failing at that so freaking bad. There's a book haul coming up later this month so that you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But outside of the books that I've already gone ahead and purchased, I do have a list of most anticipated reads for this year. I don't believe I've listed them here in any particular order and I apologize for not knowing their exact release date. I was pretty much just too lazy to get it for you. All right, so number one, we've got Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the third installment of the Illuminae trilogy. Illuminae is a young adult space opera and if you haven't already read it, you're seriously missing out. One of the best things about Illuminae was that it was kind of in this very interesting format and what I love about it is the book and the audiobook were two very distinct experiences and as far as the book goes it's told in um, dossiers and emails and instant messages and so every page has been designed and from a graphic designer perspective I think it's amazing. So sometimes in the book people die and sometimes a lot of people die and so they end up listing all the people that passed away in the book. I forget what the technical term for it is but it's kind of like a death list. I'm pretty sure this has appeared in the pages both in the first and second book. And for the third book, Jay Kristoff was holding a contest where if you pre-ordered Obsidio, you'd be entered to have your name be in the book. No one will find out if their name has been printed in the book until release day, but I'm really hoping since I entered and I do have somewhat of a unique name that my name will be published in the book and I'm so looking forward to finding out if that was the case. So if you guys see Desiree Labrada in Obsidio, Book number two is All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. I'm not even really sure what this is about, but Colleen Hoover has become an auto buy author for me. I thoroughly enjoy all of her books. They make me laugh, they make me cry, and they have always been page turners for me. So I'm definitely picking up her next one. Number three, On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. This is her second book and it kind of takes place in the same world as The Hate You Give. It is about a teen rapper and her rise to fame and how she deals with it. Number four, What If It's Us by Adam Silvera and Becky Albertalli. I'm not really sure what this is about, but I do appreciate both authors and I look forward to them working together. Number five, Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli. This is supposed to be the sequel to Simon and the Homo Sapiens Agenda um, from the perspective of Leah, who I believe is his best friend. I have not read Simon, although I do own it and I will be reading it soon. Number six, The Cheerleaders by Kara Thomas. This is a thriller that takes place in a small town and all the girls on a cheerleading squad have all died unexpectedly from different causes. So the town ends up with no cheerleaders, but it sounds like after that people continue to die and they're not sure what's going on. No one is safe. Number seven, From Twinkle With Love by Sandaya Menon. This is a rom-com about an aspiring filmmaker, and this book is also by the author that wrote When Dimple Met Rishi. Number eight, Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. This is a West African-inspired fantasy novel where a ruthless king tries to rid the world of magic. And so from what I understand, it's about how the main character is able to bring magic back. Number nine, Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston. I absolutely loved Geekerella, and so I've a pre-ordered this and it will be available by the end of the month and according to Amazon it is a romance royalty and adventure inspired by Anastasia and lastly number 10 lifelike by Jay Kristoff so this is supposed to be part Romeo and Juliet part Terminator and all adrenaline Sounds like the story takes place when 17 year old Eve discovers a handsome lifelike android. And they're called lifelike because they look like humans. I don't know if she falls in love with him. I don't know if he tries to murder her. I don't really care. It's Jay Kristoff and I'm getting it. So those are the books I'm most looking forward to this year. Hopefully you found some on my list that differ from other people's lists and I've introduced you to something new. If we have similar reading tastes, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.